Hi everyone, so today I wanted to try out this um, very viral technique that has been going around. So today we are going to be trying the powder before foundation trick or method of doing your makeup. So this is supposed to make your foundation um, application a lot more full coverage and your skin a lot more flawless. So we will see if this is actually true because being someone who has dry skin, I'm really nervous. So yeah, I, I don't think I've ever been so nervous to do my makeup as I am today. So yeah, we're going to start off with, of course, um, so yeah, we're going to start off with, of course, a loose powder. So I'm going to be using a translucent powder. This is the MAC uh, Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of product in there. So I heard that you're supposed to apply not you know like too much but you know we're just going to do like an in-between situation here so oh lord there go my eyebrows so yeah so yeah this could either go really good or really bad so I mean, I've seen people, like, just packing it on like it's, you know, like, flour on their face. Like, they're about to bake a cake or something, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to apply, like, a good layer. I mean, something that is visible and, you know, has some uh, coverage, but not, like excessive where you're like slapping it on your face so yeah I'm gonna do one side first just to compare oh my god this is like the messiest okay don't inhale it when you are placing it on your nose oh god that was awful <laughs> that is crazy I just got it inside my nose. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I mean, first impressions of this method. Very messy. And, uh, yeah, very messy. And you get it um, in your nose if you accidentally breathe a little bit. So, we will see. I mean, this better make me look like a million bucks. But, okay, so now we have a pretty decent layer, as you can see. Not like over the top. Recommended, uh, just a light layer is what you're supposed to do. So today for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Correct 2-in-1 foundation so this is a foundation and concealer so I didn't like want to use concealer as well so I used um, I decided to use this one okay. so we're going to now I'm going to take like a flat um, foundation buffing brush and I'm going to begin to press it this is very interesting. First of all, this foundation is way too dark for me. Now I just realized I didn't even check to see what colors I was grabbing. But anyways, this is not like going to stay on my skin for very long, I'm assuming. Um, so, let's see. Oh no, I feel like mm, I feel like it looks really heavy. 
I mean, I see, I see what they say when they say this is supposed to, like, make it really full coverage, you know? But, I don't know, it looks really, really cakey. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really accentuating, like, a lot of texture. Like, texture that I didn't even know I had, like, right here. Like, whoa, you can see, like, all these bumps. This is a really, really weird technique. I don't know, you guys. I feel like this is a complete fail. And, and, um, and this foundation never looks like this when I wear it, so that's another thing. That is really weird. I look like a cake face, a complete cake face. Okay, close up. I mean, I don't know how bad, like, I don't know how bad it looks on camera, but in person, I would never, ever go out like this. I look like I have, like, five to six layers of foundation on my skin. It's horrible, like, especially this area, and then, like, my forehead didn't even want to blend. It just like, like consumed it, like, and made it like not move around. But on this area where I applied um, more, yeah, it's just like, whoa, like all this, all my face has like um, texture now. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what this is supposed to actually do for someone's skin, you know? Because it does not look flawless. My final thoughts are, I'm not even going to bother doing the other side of my face because just by looking at my face right now, I can tell it looks horrible. Okay, so... This is making me look like super, oh, I don't know, like super cakey, first of all. I can see a lot of texture. I can see flaws that I didn't even know I had or I could accentuate with makeup. It makes me look a lot older than I am already. And it just looks horrible. I don't think I would ever recommend anyone to do this on themselves. So I really hope this was interesting to you guys. As you can see, you know, it looks really bad. And I didn't even use that much powder. And it's a pretty messy process in the first place. So I wouldn't even bother trying this. It's a I mean, people will come up with, like, the weirdest things nowadays when it comes to makeup. But, you know, everyone has a preference when it comes to their makeup. So, yeah. Um, let me take this off and I will be back.
Now that I feel like my normal self again, um, my final thoughts are the powder before your foundation method is going to be extremely cakey on your face. It's going to accentuate things you don't want to see, you know, and honestly, I'm pretty sure that anyone would notice that you're wearing or that they it would seriously look to other people like you're wearing like six layers of foundation on your skin now i don't even think this would work with someone who has like acne or anything because it would even accentuate it even more um instead of like covering it up so I don't really see how this would benefit anyone or improve anyone's makeup. Um, so yeah, that is my final thoughts. I wanted to try this out on camera for you guys. For us to both get like a full on um, first impression of what this actually looks like. I, I didn't like it. I'm sorry. I don't know who came up with this but I do not like it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed me testing out this very interesting concept of doing your makeup, which is like seriously everywhere right now. Um, and if you have done this yourself, let me know down in the comment below. Let me know what you think, because I would love to know what you think about this. Yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!